Hey Brisbane Baysiders, today's digital tutorial is on email etiquette and some hints on how to communicate effectively with members of staff, other students and anyone in the wider community when using email. So we start off up the top here, we have our email address. The next thing you do is always, it's very, very important to include a subject for your email. My subject is going to be that my visual art OneNote is not syncing. So, the first thing you need to do is a greeting to your teacher or to the staff member. So I'm going to be emailing myself because nobody else does. So I'll say, Dear Mr. Poole, and then I will put in the body of my email the problem I'm having. I am having some trouble syncing the OneNote for today's your art lesson. Would you mind emailing the work to me so I can complete it? And then you always need to sign off your email. So kind regards is uh, very common. Sincerely is also very common. But today I'm gonna go with thank you for your help because my teacher's helping me out. So thank you for your help, your name, Mr. Paul. So I've now got my email recipient. I've got a subject. I've got a greeting to the teacher or the staff member. I have the information about what the problem is and any, and I've asked any questions that I would like signed off thank you for your help and i've said who it's from so that is a, a easy quick way to make sure that you're communicating effectively and appropriately with your teachers during online learning now all i need to do is hit send